Hey genealogy friends, have you ever sat down to sync your family tree maker tree with ancestry and boom, it fails? Or worse, it starts sinking, then gets stuck halfway with a big red X? You're not alone, and you're not doing anything wrong. In this video, I'll walk you through the latest syncing issues affecting Family Tree Maker 2019 and Ancestry as of 2025, and most importantly, how to fix them step by step. So, whether your media is missing, your sync is stalling, or your tree is just gone rogue, I've got you covered. Let's get started. Here's what users, including myself, have been dealing with recently, sync failing halfway through with a timeout or server error, media showing up as proxy or broken links, people or facts not syncing correctly between platforms, FTM crashing mid-sync especially with large trees, trees that simply refuse to sync no matter what. These problems have become more frequent lately, especially if you've got a large tree. You've added media directly on Ancestry. You haven't compacted or cleaned your file in a while. But don't worry, these aren't permanent issues and most are totally fixable. So why is this happening? The short version, Family Tree Maker and Ancestry work together, but they're not always perfectly in sync. Some of the root causes include outdated FTM software or login token mismatches, corrupted or oversized database files, broken media links, especially those added from ancestries and conflict between local and cloud data during sync and sometimes it's just bad timing. Syncing on weekends or right after a big ancestry update? That's like trying to merge two traffic jams. Let's dive into fixing it. Let's get hands-on with the fixes. If you've tried basic solutions and syncing still fails, here's your complete repair toolkit. Step 1. Confirm your login credentials why this matters. Login session mismatches between FTM and Ancestry can break sync. What to do in FTM? Go to Tools, Options, Ancestry Account, Log Out. Log out of Ancestry.com in your web browser too. Close and reopen FTM re-login under Ancestry Account, this resets your token and often clears hidden sync barriers. Step 2. Compact your file thoroughly. Why this matters, a bloated or fragmented file will fail to sync properly. How? Tools. Compact file. Repeat the process until the compacting percentage is under 1%. You'd be surprised how often this alone makes syncs work again. Step 3. Check the sync log, why this matters. FTM keeps a behind the scenes record of what failed and why. How to find it, help, technical support information, open synclog.txt. Look for terms like media upload failed, access denied, or references to specific people or media. If a person or file is mentioned repeatedly, they may be the cause, go inspect them in your tree. Step 4. Export to a clean file why this matters. Sometimes the original file is too damaged to fix directly. Fix it like this, file, export, select entire file. Make sure include media is checked. Save under a new name like my tree repair test. Open that tree, then go to file, upload, and link to ancestry. This gives you a fresh sync relationship, often solving deep file corruption issues. Step 5. Replace proxy media why this matters. Media added directly on Ancestry may not sync properly, especially added on Fridays and weekends. How to check in FTM, go to Media Workspace, Collection. Sort by file size or date. Look for media with 0 kilobytes file size or URLs like ancestrycdn.com slash proxy. Fix. Delete the broken media in FTM. Upload the correct version directly into FTM, not Ancestry, then sync it again. This keeps the local copy solid. Step 6. Fully reset the sync relationship. Relivers matters. If the sync itself is broken beyond repair, you may need to start over. Warning. Choose whether to keep your Ancestry tree or overwrite it. How to do it? Backup your FTM tree, file backup, check media plus sync info. Tools, disconnect from Ancestry, then file, restore your backup. Finally, file, upload, and link to Ancestry as a new tree. 
Fresh sink equals fresh start. Step 7. Tree Vault Cloud Recovery Why this matters, it's your emergency safety net. How to set up Tree Vault tools, Tree Vault Cloud services, enable, and sync. Tree Vault keeps a secure, versioned backup of your FTM tree. If all else fails, restore from Tree Vault and reconnect. Bonus, you can view a full change log with Tree Vault, showing who or what changed even if it wasn't you. Here's how to keep your syncing smooth from now on. Compact your tree file weekly. Avoid syncing right after uploading large media. Add media directly in Family Tree Maker, not Ancestry. Don't sync during peak hours like weekends. Always back up before syncing big changes. Use Tree Vault if your tree is over 10,000 people. And don't forget, check the FTM Sync Weather Report at MackieV.com before syncing. If there's no issue, wait it out. If you've done everything and it still won't sync, head to support.familytreemaker.com. Use their live chat, they're pretty responsive, especially during business hours. Also check out the Family Tree Maker users group on Facebook. Tons of helpful people and someone might have had the exact same issue. Look, I know syncing issues can be super frustrating, but you don't have to panic and you don't have to give up your research. With a little cleanup and the right steps, you'll be back to building your family tree in no time. If this video helped, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more genealogy tips and tech tutorials. Got questions or other solutions that worked for you? Drop them in the comments. I'd love to hear them. Thanks for watching and happy researching.